Gold getting a bit of a bounce. We have Peter Hug up next. Hi, Peter. Thanks for being with us this Canada Day. You're welcome, Daniela. Peter, we saw gold get a bounce Friday following through today. Is this some form of salvation for the metal? Well, I think the gold and, and the silver markets were way oversold. Uh, I mean, I was uh, unfortunately a day early on the bounce. I called it for Thursday um, and um, had a tight stop in there, uh, trying to go long at 1225 with a stop at 1219. Uh, with a suggestion, we would see 1180. Uh, and uh, that came to fruition overnight in Europe. And uh, then again, uh, Friday morning, uh, at that level, uh, we went long, and uh, I'm still long this market, uh, uh, and I expect um, that we may still get a backfill. We've got the first backfill when the market dropped from 1250 to 1180. Uh, there's still a, a backfill between uh, about 1260 and uh, the 1325 range, um, but it's, uh, it, it's going to be a, a difficult week to trade. It's going to be very thin out there. Peter, in your morning commentary, you wrote that moves may not only be exaggerated, but false. Can you explain? Well, you know, when you have a market that's this thin and uh, lacks participation, and I expect this market to basically roll over and be uh, totally dead by about one o'clock Wednesday because of the July 4th holiday Friday, I suspect a lot of U.S. traders will probably take Friday off as well. So in these types of thin markets, uh, it doesn't take a lot to move it. So you could have somebody coming in and buying a relatively small position to cover their short and, uh, you know, have gold run to 1300 and uh, silver run to $21. That doesn't make a trend change. Uh, you know, I'd rather look at this market next Monday uh, to determine, uh, you know, where the trend is going to be in the short term. Peter, we were both at the IPMI conference in Arizona last week, the IPMI being one of the most prestigious conferences in the industry. What sentiment did you walk away with? Most traders uh, that I spoke to were concerned uh, with uh, basically what the market is concerned with, that, uh, that interest rates were going to rise. Uh, but most were again in the camp that uh, the Fed is going to uh, continue to ease uh, on their present course, probably through the end of this year and then start to decelerate easing, certainly not raise interest rates going into 2014. Once they actually get to a point where they're raising interest rates, uh, they uh, expect the, the metals markets to take a significant hit. Ironically though, there were a number of people there that saw 1500 by the end of the year uh, uh, as a still a viable target. Right, but there's also that other camp speaking a thousand dollar gold, right Peter? Yeah, again, but I think that camp, if you analyze what they're saying, is uh, they're basing everything on uh, interest rates moving up and continuing to move up in the short term. I think the 10-year bond at 2.6 uh, is expensive and um, it went, it moved there too quickly. So I'm looking for that 10-year to settle back down into the 2, 225 range, uh, and, uh, which should be price supportive for the metals. The psychology of the market, unfortunately, at these levels, uh, especially from the retail buyer, is, uh, is going to be difficult to overcome. Finally, Peter, may I ask, support and resistance levels for gold? Uh, well, again, initially support will be 1225 after the bounce up through it, uh, but 1180 is uh, fairly significant support for gold. Uh, on the upside, uh, gold needs to take out the uh, 1265 range uh, and then um, if the momentum continues, it could fill the gap up to 13, uh, the 1320, 1330 range. Silver, I think, was uh, way oversold on a ratio basis. Uh, I think support on silver in the 1820 range uh, with resistance at, uh, give or take, somewhere around 2030. Peter, thanks for your thoughts today. Thank you. You're welcome, Daniela. And thanks for watching this edition of For Pete's Sake. Email us at newsfeedback at or follow me on Twitter at Daniela Camboni. Thanks for watching.